Welcome back. One in three Americans between 18 and 34 are still living at home. But millennials staying under their parents' roof could be a good thing for them and the economy. So says Jonathan Coppage. He's a senior fellow at the R Street Institute who recently wrote an op-ed titled, Kids Living With Their Parents Longer? It's a Good Thing. Hello, sir, and why do you say so? Hi, thanks for having me. Well, I think it's important to recognize that the millennials aren't pioneering a new low in the way that they are living, but rather getting back to a tried and true American tradition of intergenerational living. This is a pattern that was very common throughout the country for decades until about World War II. And then we got a very anomalous situation where we built a very weird housing stock. But people living with their family and drawing on mutual support is, in fact, a very old and time-honored tradition. Jonathan, how old are you? I am about to turn 30. Do you live at home? I do not, but I did. Until how recently? Oh, uh, just for a few months when I was home from college. Okay. So why aren't you living at home right now? Well, I have a job here in D.C., and that's what took me here. But there are a number of people that I know who get a lot out of being able to help their parents, help their grandparents who live with them, or people from bigger families who can come home and help yep. their parents take care of the little kids and All the right. other siblings. Uh, Jonathan, I, I don't know whether you got your own uh, bank account yet. Hopefully you've done that. But <laughs> uh, J.P. Morgan, $1.82. Uh,